Welcome back to IGN Live from Gamescom here in Germany. Very loud show here, at, uh, show floor here at Gamescom. Uh, it's time to take a look at Dying Light. Magic is here to tell us all about it. What uh, this, this game has been on my radar for a while now. I think you showed it to me a couple years ago. Uh, but today you're showing off co-op yes. and PvP for the first time. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Very cool. Uh, so we've seen the game here. Yeah, very first time. So this particular mission. Um, we're trying to send signal to the outside world that there's still living people in the quarantine. So we're gonna make like this huge fire. We're actually gonna to set a building to explode so that it's available from the, oh, there we go. So, and what's gonna happen, we're gonna play this thing for the very first time in co-op. So, as you can see, we'll also have crafted weapons. It's always good to go for the head. What time of day is it right now? Is it nighttime? Uh, Kind of hard to say because we're inside of this big building. But what's really interesting about our co-op, what you're gonna see in just a second, is that they're basically helping each other. But you know, we like to spice things up a little bit. So even when you're playing with your friend, it's like, hey, I dare you that I can do stuff better than you. So in a minute, they're gonna start a little competitive challenge. Okay. And it's gonna be about who can kill more zombies in a minute. And whoever wins, the only one person gets rewards, right? The one who wins. And that means you can get an awesome weapon, you can get additional XP and unlock skills faster. All right, so this challenge has started. Now it's all mayhem, whoever gets more kills. And of course it's optional, so if you don't feel like thinking part of it, that's okay. And it's not something that, you know, uh, we force onto you. If, like, if you like to play single player and you just, uh, you know, you just, Play the game on your own pace, that's all right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that was my one of my favorite zombies, like the gas I like guy. that one, yeah. I great. love this guy a lot. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, just, make, just to make sure that they're dead. All right, let's head downstairs. There's, there was actually a guy called Michael. He was helping set up uh, the explosion, and he kind of got into trouble. So we're trying to save him. Oh, oh be careful. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, got to stay away from those. Oh, have you seen that headshot? All right, go for the head, yeah. It's always best to go for the head. All right, Michael should be, yeah, oh, here we go. So, unfortunately, Michael didn't make it. So, um, Sorry, we're, Michael. We're, yeah, so we're just gonna take his detonator. And from this point on, for example, we can have a challenge saying that it's not about killing now, it's about who gets out of the server first. And it was really fun to watch people play the demo. When they go through the level, they help each other out, you know, watching for each other, and suddenly it's like the challenge comes up. Whoever get out first, and like, screw you, man! I'm taking this reward. They're running away. Are there going to be on-screen prompts for these challenges? Yes, yes. Okay. So there's a little prompt that says, "Hey, there's a challenge at this place. You want to take it?" And somebody's initiated, and then the other people say, "Okay, I want to participate." So we have a our co-op is up to four players. So you know, maybe just two of you are gonna want to take place. Uh, that's okay too. All right, so we're almost out of the sewers. All right. Okay. Again, whoever wins the challenge, and we also we divide them. You know, like we have two proficiencies: strength and agility. So we split challenges the same way. So if you win an agility challenge, that we that means uh, we'll boost you up. You know, in agility tree. Okay, so now we can see the fruits of our labor. We got to set the explosions off. There we go. It works. There we go. All right, so we thought just setting an explosion it might not be enough. It might happen on random. So I didn't know if you noticed there was actually a sad face on the building. Oh, okay. Something that, you know, you can't miss it, that it's a yeah. human being doing that. All right, so we're out of the building. Oh, and that's a big surprise that we had for our players. So this is the very first time that we're showing um, as zombie player invades the game. And the way it works, um, if he kills you a number of times, you have a limited number of respawns, if he kills you, the game's over. On, on the other hand, he has unlimited, and there he is, unlimited number of respawns. So in order to win the match, you have to kill the hives. There are three hives that you need to kill. Now, he's pretty fast and agile. He's a glass cannon, but he's a badass. So in order to survive, we give you like two tools. The first one is survivors, and you can see like the pulse going out. So this way, you're able to sense where he's coming from. Whenever, oh, 
Whenever the pollster is red, that means he's close. And then he's a night creature, so he's sensitive sensitive to light. So we give you like UV flashlight. Whenever you point it at him, um, you start to drain his energy, and that makes him slow down, and we disable his abilities. So, oh wait, uh, he got him. All right, you see the flash turn, the, the, the turning red. Okay, now they got him. They should have him. All right, he's going away. So he's. This dummy's player controlled? Oh yes, absolutely. And what's cool about it, it's not like we're starting a separate mode. You're just playing your own story mission or whatever. Yeah. And whenever nighttime comes, basically that's one of the scenarios that might happen at night. Um, on the other hand, if you're playing zombie, you get to choose. Do I want to mess some random guy game or do I track my friends? So yeah. you have a list of all your friends. I'm, I'm going to mess you up and then I'm going to mess <laughs> you up and then everybody hates you. But, but it's so fun. But you, it has to be nighttime for them to be able to come to your game? Yes. They, it only happens during the night. It's like our super, super infected. All right. So now that they killed him, uh, that's their window of opportunity for them to go for the hive. Because there's a certain window before he can respawn. That's the that's the hog. It's like volatile, still evolving. Yeah. So if they can kill this thing three times, like in their own the different place in the map, if they can kill him, they win the match. And then what happens is, if you play this as a human, um, you get extra XP again. So oh, he's dead now. So uh, I'll I'll come back to the XP right okay. away because. Uh, since he's a glass cannon, he can't really face them like head on. He's, he's the best when he can make them scared and and, and you know and, and try to separate them. They're gonna be an easy prey then, like this. Yeah. So I'm uh, coming back to the XP. When you win, you get extra experience, but on top of that, you also get access to special crafting materials. Um, so if there are certain things that you can, oh look at that, that was a nice trip. There are certain things that you will be only able to craft if you have those special materials. On the other hand, um, the, the zombie player has his own skill tree, his own stuff to unlock. Oh, that was a nice thing. Step on a trap? Yeah, yeah like thing? the zombie kicked him right into oh, the trap and killed okay. him. All right, so yeah, that's that's the stuff that we have for Gamescom 2015. That's pretty cool. Uh, how long are the day and night cycles? Day um, and night? You know, we're still balancing the game. Yeah. So we went from something like an hour down to 30 minutes, and we're kind of still pushing back and forth to see what, what, what plays best. I see. Uh, can the entire game play, be played through cooperatively? Oh, yes. Okay. Like, uh, as soon as you finish the tutorial mission, it's four players, up to four players go up right from the start to the very end. We're starting to see different uh, types of environments that we saw before. Like, we were down in the sewers ahead of time. Uh, how big is the entire world? Or like maybe right, a better question. Is, yeah, how long does it take to just run across? Um, I'm, I'm gonna answer differently. I'm gonna give okay. you a comparison. We have like two really big areas and, and then a lot of smaller ones. Oh. But each one of the big ones is actually bigger than everything we had in the island. Okay. That's how big it is. Pretty good. I mean, yeah. okay, it's so it's so big that sometimes we feel like this is actually scary. Like, what are we getting ourselves into? Like, yeah. this is this is massive. Like, this is by far the biggest game we ever did. Are there vehicles? Um, we had vehicle, vehicles at some point, um, but right now we kind of found out that with all this really awesome parkour mechanics, um, vehicles doesn't don't really support the kind yeah. of experience that we want to sell right now. Yeah. Um, so at this moment, there are no vehicles. But that doesn't mean they might show up, but... There you go, I like that. We'll, we'll see, who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, who knows? I mean, you have a little bit of time. It's a February release? Yes. Is that what this is going to be on? So, no release date though yet, right? It's yes, sort of the February. release date is February 2015. Right, And all platforms go at the same time. Yeah. Uh, you guys have split screen, uh, right? No, unfortunately, unfortunately we don't have oh, a split, no split screen. Oh, no split screen. Yes, okay. but you can, you, know, you can play uh, on the local land. I got you, yeah. Uh, real quick before we go, favorite zombie movie? Favorite zombie movie, 28 weeks. Uh, sorry, 28 days later. 20 days later, that was really good. Did you like weeks later too? I thought the scene uh, was pretty good. Uh, yeah, it was good-ish. Okay, But okay. definitely 28, not... 28 days blew me away. Like, yeah. I was like, oh wow, I've never seen a 
zombie movie like that, and that yeah, that yeah. was that was scary. That kind of that was, you know, that kind of introduced the fast zombies. Yeah, uh, and, a lot, a really lot changed liked, after that. And I really like like the emotional stuff. Like yeah. it's uh, one drop and you're gone. Yep. Especially yeah. I remember the scene with the father. Yeah, and the eye. Yeah. And oh my god, yeah. there were any grapes here. Yeah, I really exactly. love that one. Imagine, thanks so much for hey, coming by the thank show. Thank you for having me. It was Dying awesome. Light, February 2015. Yes. It's awesome. Stay tuned. Hey guys. Lots more to come from the very loud show floor here at Gamescom, brought to you by Dead Island 2, right after these messages. Appropriate.